Hey Virgo Venus, this is what we got going on for January 2022 Virgos, yay! We made it! Happy New Year Virgos! I hope you guys have such a wonderful year. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. I hope the, the road for you brings in prosperity, abundance, and love Virgos. And uh, Happy New Year sweethearts, uh, I, I wish you guys all the best, alright? Let's get a Virgo's coming with the Magician in Reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles there. A Virgo, a Gemini, a Leo, a Cancer, a Libra, an Aries, a Taurus, um, a Pisces, another Virgo. Let's get it, Virgos. This person may have been abusing their power, and they're definitely not listening to what Spirit had had to say. This person didn't care. They were using their uh, malicious intent and maybe in wrong ways here, especially with the strength card in reverse. Again, abusing power here as well. This person is very weak at the moment here, Virgos. Uh, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person may make a lot of money here as well, uh, but they might be going through a little bit of sadness, a heartache. Uh, they definitely don't feel confident at the moment and definitely feeling very much so weak as well. Uh, regardless of this person has been thinking a whole lot on whether or not it is if they want to come back for you guys however though it looks like they're ready to come back Virgos. this person moves very slowly they're very meticulous they are the type of person that if they're going to be coming for you they want to do it perfectly and and, cor and correct as well so do expect me more so um some of you guys might be receiving a gift from this person um and some of you guys might be literally getting an apology for how this person had treated you in the past there uh, this is the type of person who doesn't move fast at all, Virgos. They move at like a snail's pace. And then when they start get going and they come to the realization, okay, I made a head, I have to make a head and heart decision. And that's exactly what this person ended up doing. They were making a head and heart decision. And that's why they was gone or taking their time for sure with the Knight of Pentacles there, right? Uh, but this is somebody who moves very, very slowly. And then out of nowhere, they're going like 180 miles, you know, they could, like, like, mm -hmm like that on the road like real like this is zero to 100 when they're on the when when they come to that to that mindset that okay you know it's done they made a decision they're ready to come forward now they want to bring justice towards you guys so this person definitely had a head and heart decision coming in with justice to the page of cups energy so do expect a message coming in from this person here, Virgos, uh, even a letter for that matter as well. Uh, but regardless, though, they are very much so apologetic and you got, and they're and they're going to be able to express that to you on an emotional level coming with the page of cups. It might be still a little bit childish with how it is that they apologize to you, but it looks like that's still coming in for you guys. Um, they go from being a knight to a page. So maybe this person feels some type of way for the way that they treated you here in the past. And they know that they did not treat you fairly whatsoever, Virgos. Um, Virgo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there. Definitely a lot of stress is going on here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys might be hoping or getting out of this situation. A lot of you guys may have also been in hermit mode for quite some time, Virgos. And this person became really cold and detached. This is a Virgo. This may literally be you guys, Virgos. Virgos, you guys are able to, like, sh shut off your feelings, shut off everything all in one shot. You know what I mean? Like, just cold turkey. There's a Virgo here who's capable of, like, being so loving one day, and then all of a sudden, they have no more emotion. And then they stop talking. There's a Virgo here, Virgos, <laughs> for the ones who may have been dealing with one, or any other sign for that matter. This person had you guys in your head for such a long time with the eight of swords in reverse. Maybe eight months. Some of you guys could have been eight years. You know what I mean? But more so eight weeks to eight months. One year and eight months here, Virgos. Um, yeah, sweeties. It's just saying that this person may have been really stressed out for the fact that they stopped, this person stopped talking to them and it doesn't make them feel good at all, right? So now it looks like, yeah, Virgos, this might be like some sort of narcissistic type person or emotionally unbalanced situation here or emotionally unbalanced, excuse me. Uh, they look like they want to come back towards you, right? Something is wrong in this area here, Virgos, but the energy might be blocked between the two of you guys and that's why even if they were to come back, it would still... It's still a little bit hard for them at the same time. Like you guys may have this person on block and they're not able to reach you. Like this person may literally be sending you guys text messages coming in with the eight of wands to the nine of wands energy. But there's legit no movement. It's like block. This person has no idea how it is that they're going to be reaching you. They have no idea. They don't know what to do. They're just like, oh my God, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. 
but the wheel's not going to turn, Virgos, because you guys are not really happy about it. King, uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, Virgos, please be careful with the Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Somebody here is not able to get it up for whatever reason, or they can, but there might be something that is that you're not able to see on a, on, a, on a sexual level here, okay, that you're literally not able to see it with the Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords, watch your back. Some bad shit is about to come through, Virgos, and if that's the wheel card in reverse of the Queen of Cups, you're going to be really upset about it when this energy appears, and I hope that it doesn't, so please be careful uh, for the month of January on anybody that you're trying to get involved with or from anybody from your exes who are trying to potentially come back towards you guys and um, and who are going to try and want to hook up with you guys as well. I don't recommend you doing anything with this person, Virgos, to be honest with you guys or vice versa. If you guys know about it or have your... Uh, you know, you're thinking about it or um, you have your suspicion that something might be wrong, then I don't recommend you guys doing anything with this person because there's potentially something here that you're not genuinely able to see with the Two of Swords, Seven of Wands. It could potentially be hidden. You, you see what I mean? So you're not. it's not something that you'd be able to see. Um, also, it's just saying that the energy is just blocked at the moment. So there's no, that this person could potentially be trying to reach out to you, but they are having a really hard time uh, getting a hold of you there, Virgo. Some of you guys have really gone ghost on this person after the fact that they left you out and treated you guys so, so badly here. Uh, regardless, though, there's uh, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who might be going through a lot of obstacles at the moment and they're wanting to give up, but they know that if they were to give up, that they would be losing the success that they would have here coming with the Six of Wands, right? And this person might be very manipulative, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Pisces energy. So somebody here is very, very selfish, especially with, when it comes to their success coming with the Six of Wands to the Five of Swords energy, right? So what's happening is that there could potentially be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who is losing their power, right? Because they're ready to give up, they're dropping it. They're losing their power. It's the King of Wands in reverse. They're not in power anymore. Why would they be in the reverse if they have the Six of Wands upright into the Five of Swords? No, something is wrong, right? So it's the this person having a lot of obstacles or may even wanting to be giving up at the moment too. Like this person might be somebody who's very successful. But for whatever reason that's happening at right now, this person could honestly be losing their power. They, they're, they're losing something for them to feel like they have to give up with the Ten of Wands and not fight for anything anymore, right? And that's because this person was being very selfish on getting where it is that they need to be on a, on a very malicious intent, uh, deceitful. Um, I just heard cowardice, Virgo. Somebody here might be honestly like a huge fucking coward, right? And when you guys come to this realization with the Queen of Swords and shit... You, there's a fight coming through and the reason why the fight's coming through is because somebody here is going to be talking a whole lot of shit somebody here is definitely a pathological liar whatever it is that they say they believe it at the same time that's very scary and very dangerous this person creates a lot of illusion so even if you guys were asking this person for the truth don't expect to get an answer from them no that's the moon card right there they're creating illusion on top of the fighting maybe calling you crazy saying no you don't know nothing Brah, you don't know nothing you know like, that's how this person might literally be talking to you guys with the Five of Wands to the Moon card. Like, you're asking for the truth, but the truth that you're asking for is going to get you guys into an argument or maybe even a, a fight or even a physical fight. This is a lot of darkness here, right? So no matter what it is that you're asking or speaking up, saying the truth on your part here, you're not going to get an answer with the Moon card there. There's no point of even getting into this situation here, Virgos. If you guys know for a fact you're not going to speak, then you're not going to get an answer. There's no point because what is the point of you guys getting yourselves in the five energy right there? Fighting, maybe even domestic for that matter. It can, can go that far, right? And that's because somebody here is speaking the truth. They got caught. It is what it is. And they don't want to admit the shit straight up, all right? <sighs> so this person may have been giving to somebody else or the, whoever this, uh, this person was dealing with in the past. They was dealing with somebody else. This person was giving to somebody else. They found out about it. They left and they now, they, now they're now they coming into their power here. Virgo's coming with the Emperor to the Knight of Cups energy. So this is a very sweet, a very loving, a very traditional type of person there, right? And whoever it was that they was dealing with with the Six of, Pen with the Six of Pentacles there, they walked away from that connection. They're like, this is somebody who will not. Oh, Virgos, they will not. If, if they find out that they got cheated on, oh, the hell, they're out of there. This is not somebody who takes, who does second chances. No, 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 absolutely not. 
Absolutely not, Virgos. One time, you cheat one time, you're out. You're out. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Star card, Nine of Pentacles. Wow, Virgos, this is so gorgeous. <clears throat> wow, Virgos. Uh, there could potentially be uh, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is very much so curious about you at the moment, Virgos. This, some of you guys, this might be a new relationship, a new friendship that's coming towards you guys here as well. You guys are definitely connecting with each, with each other with the two cups in the heart of the reading right there. Um... This person here, Virgos, is definitely very much so hopeful. They, you have their back. You're back towards them, but that's just because you're not. You're not the type of person to show too much. <laughs> you're, you're not the type of person to show too much. That's exactly who you guys are, Queen of Pentacles. So even if you guys know that people are interested in you, you're still not gonna go and jump on them and be like, "Oh, I like you too." You're not like that. <laughs> that's not how you guys are. Like you're just like. I got money and I'm gonna focus on my money. I'm the nine of pentacles. I'm 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 a whole vibe. That's what you guys be saying sometimes. You guys are really cute, Virgos. This person's ready to take action with the page of sword energy right there. They see you. They they are ready to take action, Virgos. This person is looking at you like you're really beautiful and and this could potentially be a soulmate connection coming in for you guys. It's gonna be very, very beautiful. And maybe even a relationship can come can come out of this as well with the Ten of Cups energy. And the Ace of Cups as well, Virgos. New beginnings, prosperity, uh, our new opportunities is coming towards you here as well. And <clears throat> somebody here works a whole lot at the same time. So you're going to have to try and find a way to balance out this situation with your work too. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. But somebody here also has to find ways to be creative. To maybe balance more than one thing here. Because <laughs> you guys so focus on the bag, Virgos, Nine of Pentacles. What? <laughs> it's a lot of work energy yeah so virgo some of you guys uh you guys are so cute okay <sighs> it's saying please be please be okay virgos you guys are the you guys are the temperance card you guys are you guys are gonna go within and get and find your goddess within you or find your god within yourself here right and uh there may have been a little bit of opportunities that had to come your way but you guys have missed them just because of the fact that you guys were still so sad on what had the past had happened um, this, whether this be you guys or that person's energy right there, okay? So you guys might be going through sadness, Virgos, but you're not going to be saying anything to anybody about it. You'll be keeping it quiet to yourself. Do expect a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Pisces to be reaching out to you guys as well, Virgos, okay? So you guys have the clarity that you guys need with the crown, with the, wow. I was going to say crown chakra, Virgos. They want to talk about your crown chakra. They want to talk about it. <laughs> all right so some of you guys are just having the clarity that you guys are needing at the moment do you know that you guys are being definitely guided as well with the ace of swords to the nine of cups energy everything's gonna end up being okay all the obstacles all the problems all the work issues all the free party situations it, it's all going to come to a complete ending and you guys are going to start getting the clarity that you guys need there could have been a powers for a capricorn Who's wanting to reach out to you but some of you guys have literally did not say anything uh, whatsoever for swords energy you guys may end up literally uh if this person reaches out to you or vice versa you're not going to get a response i'm sorry cross watcher if you reach out to virgo venus thinking that they're going to respond to you i'm sorry it doesn't look like they will <laughs> page of, page of pentacles i'm so sorry for laughing page of pentacles to the four of swords okay you're not because you have the clarity that you need now that you are in fact emotionally satisfied you are abundant you are good you are fruitful you have everything that you need in more virgos you're the nine of cups to the ace of swords you got everything you need you're at your victory now so if anybody wants to come towards you on some stupid shit and trying to talk to you and whatever the case is you're gone silent four of swords not happening they're not gonna ring 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 hello click <laughs> Yeah, Virgos, all right? Oh, sweeties. All right, Virgos, make sure that you guys are not cleaving on too much to things that ha that don't matter anymore. Uh, definitely a little bit of hoarding energy here. Uh, but you guys hold so close, hold so much close things to your heart space that 
you don't remember how to release it and let it go. That's why it's always important to just not hold on too tight to anything ever in life, Virgos, either with the Four of Pentacles there. So that way you can always allow your blessings to be coming in. You do have a lot of success towards you guys as well, Virgos. All right. Somebody here finds you very beautiful, but at the same time with the Four of Pentacles to the Four of Cups, right? It might be somebody from your past here who feels very stuck, very nostalgic, daydreaming about you. They're still holding on to you, cleaving on to you. They don't want their connection to go. This person knows that you're very beautiful. They know that they still have a, a connection here with you too. With the Lover's card to the Four of Wands, this person wants to be in a relationship with you here, Virgos. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you and somebody here might still be like thinking about their past. Like some, wh whoever this is Virgos for you guys. Okay. Somebody here is still nostalgic on the past and um, they're going to try and come in and take action, but they're still very much so guarded. Right. And, um, and that's why it would bring in a little bit of stagnation. Like at a standstill, the six of swords. Somebody here is going to be walking away to continue to harvest, to do their thing at the same time. If this person stagnates the connection, you guys are standing in your power. You guys have a lot of opportunities and decisions you're going to end up having to make, right? <clears throat> Somebody here was also in a very toxic relationship here too, Virgos, where the... It was a very toxic situation here, Virgos. Somebody had a lot of options and a lot of things that they need they could have done on the side here as well like this person may have may would always leave like at nighttime and go do they thing uh but regardless of the somebody here had too many things going on they couldn't make the decision for the life of them and that's why the connection became very much so toxic maybe even an ending or even a divorce had come out of it here as well uh you guys may get a message from this person but it definitely creates a lot of heartache and sadness here too but the little thing that you guys don't know, Virgo, that you guys are going to have to be able to start all over again with the full card. That's a zero right there, right? So zero is like uh, infinity, starting all over again, being able to still get up after everything that was meant to hurt you and still leap, take that leap of faith in the direction that you guys are wanting to go into or wherever it is that God takes you guys, right? And you guys are going straight into the sun card. A lot of happiness here, right? And... Um, the last thing you guys want is to remember the past and the pain that it caused you. Remember it and then release it. Do not absorb it, right, Virgos? You guys have a lot of happiness on the way, a lot of financial success, and a lot of abundance with the Three of Cups energy. You guys go from being sad to being super happy. You go from being sad to super happy, Virgos. There's nothing wrong, all right? Everybody goes through tough times, but it's always our own responsibility to find a way to get out of it without anybody holding our hand. I mean that on a real note, Virgos, okay? So make sure you guys get out of the energy because look how much happiness you guys have coming towards you. Future is coming in for you guys, Virgos. You guys are finally being able to say, you know what? I don't need to be holding on to the three of swords. Let them fuck up. I've been telling you guys this a long time now, right? Let them fuck up. Let them fuck up. Because at the end of the day, you have nothing. If you're the one to fuck up, then they got something to say about you. So let them fuck up and then always have to remember like, damn, I actually did Virgo Venus like that. Like what the hell was I thinking? So let them be the one to be the three of swords and then <clears throat> for their future to be coming in like as karma for the way that they had treated you, right? But you guys, Virgos, you go from the three to three. So even though you guys might literally still be heartbroken, you guys are going to take control of your life and say, you know what? I don't need to be sad. I can still be sad and then still go find a way to live my life and be happy and start taking responsibility and saying, you know what, how much more are you guys going to literally cry over somebody who's not treating you all that great, right? <coughs> so sorry, Virgos. Also, there's going to be an opportunity coming for, towards you guys that's going to be leading you in a lot of happiness here, which would make you guys a little bit sad, especially for the ones who might have to travel or take a new journey in a different direction where it's going to be overseas and wherever else in the world, Virgos, okay? Uh, regardless, though, you guys have lots of opportunities coming towards you guys. There might be somebody here who might be interested in you, uh, but you guys might be stressed out or this person is really, really stressed out because they, they want to come for you. They're very smart. They're very intelligent. They want to express their feelings towards you here, but they may genuinely do not know how to. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.